You're speaking about your 35 years sa ano, music mm-hmm. industry. Sige niyo po, ano yung secret niyo sa longevity ng career niyo? Even though pabago-bago yung landscape ng music. I think in any kind of career, no? ang importante naman yung hard work. No? Kung hindi tayo, we're not lazy. Uh, hindi tayo, you know, lax sa kahit anong ginagawa natin. And also, um, there are a lot of important factors that help me, you know, making it in this in the business and then learning from the best, like Sina Peke Galiaga, um, Floyd Quintos were wonderful writers, directors, uh, Leo Ria, Joey, ha, you know, Jose Javier Reyes. Sila yung, sila yung nasa umpisa pa lang ng karera ko. I was already working with them. I was very blessed to, you know, kahit sina Alice Reyes, for Ramahari. Uh, mabuti ang Diyos sa akin. Binigyan niya ako ng pagkakataon to work with them. So, with that experience, I was able to learn from that and take it on to, you know, all the years na dala ko yun. Uh, sa musicality nyo, tingin nyo ba you have to adapt kahit pa bago-bago yung yung taste ng music ng mga <coughs> gano'n. I think in terms of adapting, um, I wish that we have more now uh, vocal producers. Like in America, pag mayroon kang ginawang areglo, alam nila kung dapat pa paano patakbuhin yung boses. They guide you well. Uh, Kukunti pa lang yung nandito sa akin na gano'n. Sana we could, we could bring in people who are, you know, who are more experienced. Kasi pinag-aaral din yun. Um, there's something that the radio people are looking for. Kaya may, minsan may kakulangan yung kahit na super ganda yung vocals mo. Pero, eh hindi yan yung aming, ano, yung aming kind of music, mga ganun. So, nakakaroon ng limitation yung exposure ng kanta mo. Although, I am grateful to mga mga radio stations sa mga love radio kasi tungkol sa love naman lahat yung kinakanta ko kahit hanggang ngayon pinapatugtog nila yung mga till I met you mga dati kong recordings yung you know uh, I think I'm in love na dati kong na-record so marami pa namang mga radio stations <coughs> na basically yan naman yung talagang masa eh di ba ako I love to hear yung mga mga lumang mga hits eh. I love to go to those radio stations. Uh, the other thing that you were saying uh, na ano yung nakatulong sa akin, isa pa yung mga composers na pumili rin sa akin, katulad ni George Canseco who gave me a whole album. After the one album ng Dito Ba, uh, meron pa nung Ako ay Pilipino, meron pang Paano Kita Mapapasalamatan. And then si Cecilia Zarcon, that she gave me an all English, all Tagalog album. Ooh. Ang composers natin nakakatulong talaga sa sa karera ng ng isang singer na kung tama yung pinili nilang singer they they can make a big hit out of their songs or they can make a failure of you know the, the song Did you remember the song that just oh yeah and did you record the songs on the new album did I record re record I I did, uh, everything is basically new, newly recorded. Oh. Yeah, I asked them because uh, can you give tips on how you were able to maintain your quality? My voice? Yes. <laughs> Ulog po ng maaga, <laughs> hindi naninigarilyo, hindi umiinom, basically eating healthy as much as I can. Um, saka ano, pinapahinga talaga ang boses bago mag-record. Can you describe your life outside of the training system? I understand you said you're laid back. Laid back? Yeah, that's so. Hindi po. Okay. Pero, I, I don't party. You know, if I go to us, uh, if I'm invited, it would be, siguro I'd go to a wedding, kasi importante yun. I would go to uh, celebrations that are important. Hindi lang yung parang, oh, lika na, pumunta tayo sa bars. I don't, I practically don't go to bars anymore. Kahit ang patayo ko ng bar nun, ayoko na kung pumunta sa mga ganon. Kaya, kung mag sila, i-imbitain ko na lang sila sa, balik na tayo sa restaurant na lang. If it is important that I feel, kasi limitado na rin yung time ko, if I feel that I can do something, at, at you know, help them, yung sa mga kaibigan ko na mga nag-iimbita, 
if I feel that I can contribute something positive during that event, then I will go. Pero kung ang feeling ko naman parang hindi naman importante na nandun ako, hindi na lang ako pupunta. Okay. Thank you. Isabel is fine. She's uh, doing her album. Medyo nag-concentrate din siya, half and half. She's become a worship leader for our church, a CCF. So for her, that's even more important than anything. Uh, that is secular. So, hindi ko siya mapipilit. Bali, atapos mo na yung album ko, blah, blah, blah. So, ngayon, yun, yung umpisa niya ulit and she's writing music. Napaka-talented niya in terms of writing. So, hopefully, matapos siya before the end of the year. Paano mo natutulog ka na maaga? Paano ngayon yung mga teleserye and you're taking it? Ay, yun na nga. Pag teleserye, teleserye. Pero, I try, I, kunyari, may, tele, may taping, Nang the next day, matutulog ako ng maaga. Pero, um, in between, kunyari may wait ng 2 hours, 3 hours. I'm learning more how to adjust sa, ano, sa puyatan. So, and the waiting, na hindi masayang yung oras ko. So, I, I read, you know, I bring books, I make my calls, I talk to the people there, may kwentuhan, share about the Lord. You know, mga ganon. So, I maximize my time. Question? Kung meron, meron pa naman ito, pwede ma-interview ma pa si Ms. Kuo after this open forum ng 101,000 people. So, again, 